Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson. We are going to continue our studies talking about dividing a polynomial by a monomial. Steps to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Divide the polynomial by a monomial. Divide each term of the polynomial by the monomial. Use the rules for division of sign numbers on the coefficients. Subtract the exponents when the bases are the same. So here's our first question. We want to divide this polynomial by negative 6x. So first thing I teach my students to break up the polynomial into pieces it's like a Hershey bar. And draw lines in between the plus and minus signs to cut it up into Hershey pieces. Okay, so now we're going to divide each one of these pieces by the denominator here. So the denominator is negative 6xy. So we're going to divide our first piece. So let's divide our first piece. So the first thing we're going to do is divide the signs. So we have a positive which is implied there because it's not written, divided by a negative gives you a negative. 24 divided by 6 gives you 4. Now we got to deal with the letters. When the bases are the same or the letters are the same, we subtract the exponents. We have 3 here, and this is a imaginary 1. So I'll put a 1 there just in case you don't see it. But we don't have to write it. 3 minus 1 gives you 2. So that'll give us x to the second power, or x squared. And now we're going to, I'll put a 1 here for this y as well. We're going to subtract the 4 minus 1 because, again, the bases are the same. We just subtract, and that'll give us y to the third power, or y cubed. All right, so there's our first part of the polynomial divided by the bottom monomial. Now we're going to do the second part. So let's do the second part. So we have a negative sign here, and we're going to divide that by this negative. So same signs gives us positive when we're dividing. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now, again, I'll put 1s down here, and the bases are the same, so we just subtract the exponents. 2 minus 1 will give us just one little x. And again, 2 minus 1 gives us one little y. So we just completed the second part of this polynomial division. Now we got our last part that we have to divide. So let's do the last part. Again, we're dividing by negative 6xy. Now the first thing I notice, I'm dividing the same thing on top as the bottom. So that cancels out. But if you want, you can take a look at your rules. Negative 6 divided by negative divided by negative is positive. And when we say cancels out, we really should say cancels down because this is the same thing. 6 divided by 6, we can say cancels out, but it cancels down to 1. So I could put a 1 there. But not only is that, the 6 is being multiplied by the x and being multiplied by the y. So since uh, this x is the same as the x down here, the rules we said were subtract the exponents. So we could have x to the 1 power minus uh, x to the 1 power, subtracting the exponents, we have 1 minus 1, that would give us x to the 0. And if you recall in my other video, x to the 0 power is equal to 1. So anything raised to a 0 power equals 1. So or in a sense, you could have said, well, this canceled out as well, or canceled down to 1. So let's cancel down to 1. And this canceled down to 1. And y to the first power minus y to the first power, subtracting the exponents again. 1 minus 1 gives us y to the 0 power. And that also equals 1. Or you could say, this canceled out as well, and down to 1. 
but really all of this did was it canceled down to one so since it's all the same on the top here as the bottom here the whole thing canceled itself out or canceled itself down to one and now all we really had to do was look at the sign so negative divided by negative is positive so that gave us a positive one but if you felt like writing x to the zero power y to the zero power you may but we don't have to so our answer is going to be just negative 4 x squared y cubed plus 3 x y plus and we don't have to write x to the zero y to the zero because that's all being multiplied together by one and we'll just have positive one so there's our answer so let's circle it and we did a good job of dividing so let's take a look over here so there it is neatly written for you so i hope you got that one here's another question for you to try and it's not set up the way the fraction was so it's a, written this way you should be able to turn that into the division problem like we had in the first one so check your understanding i hope you understand everything and if you don't just watch the video again and write down your questions bring them in the class and i'll be glad to answer them here's a word problem for you so uh see if you can figure that out here's another one for you try that that's set up the way we just did a little earlier so try these problems i hope the lesson was easy for you and i hope you got something out of it I want you to write down questions for me in the morning, and I'll be glad to answer them. So this is Dr. Robinson. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.